Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. But you love me for my twang. That's right, it is Twang and Tuesday. And on this day, I like to feature country music past, present, or future on the channel. Now, the first thing I want to get off my chest is that tonight I was called the N-word. Well, now that is some fucked up shit. Now, some of you might be going like, Oh, but baby. But I don't want you to feel sympathy for me. Uh, it, it, you know what? I know it's something that happens, but I, outside of somebody going, What's up, my nigga? I probably haven't been called that word in over 20 years. I mean, look at me. I got gray hair and things like that. The last time I had it, my hair was black and I actually had hair. So it was a shocker to me. Now, to put some of you all at ease, it was not a Caucasian person that called me the N-word. Now, I know some of you are going like, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, I thank you, Jesus, I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, it wasn't that, but, you know, uh, in the manner that it came, it just was like a shock. Because back in the 70s and 80s, up until about 1986, if I heard somebody saying that word around me and they were not uh, of color, I was seeking them out and I was beating them up. And, you know, back in back after Roots came out... Forget about it. So, uh, I just wanted to say that... Uh, Hopefully, I think in doing the videos, and it's taken me up until like 9.30 when I got off of work at one uh, 7 o'clock, uh, it took me, you know, that amount of time for me to go like, all right, you know what, do a video, it'll make you feel better. And it does make me feel better. So, there is that. Now, on a more positive note, I do want to say that I did a Pete and Bass video on the 14th. And that video has over 2,000 views on it. Rogers! Rogers! And I am like completely shocked because I, I really didn't expect it. And that's, you know, if you know my channel, you know, I'm surprised when I get like 100 views or, you know, 150 views. And they normally come on tonight when I do a, a Morgan Wallen song, which I will be doing a Morgan Wallen song. So that's normally when I get those kind of views. So uh, for me to get one not on country night, it was, uh, it was nice to see. So again, I am going to do a Morgan Wallen song and I'm going to do the second song from the Dangerous album. Uh, and that song, because of the mood that I'm in, I looked at certain titles and I picked the song Country Ass Shit. Yes, that's what I'm going to play. Now, there isn't much to show as far as charts and Balamo and went to number 45 on the U.S. country and that is it. And I know you're like, Stephen, why didn't you pick one of those other hit songs? You know what? I'll get to them. Remember, I just did a whole album, but by the time I got to the end, you know, it was the end. So I'll get to it sooner or later, but I know he released a lot of... So he released the whole album at the same time and like seven of them, you know, hit the charts uh, running. So I'll get to those. But you know what? Again, with my mood, this is the one that I'm going to do. So if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button because I'm doing at least 10 videos each and every week, or at least I'm trying to. So. Without any further ado, here is Morgan Wallen and Country Ass Shit.
my next girlfriend at the bar where they charge you right on for a Coke and a PBR. Yeah, I don't wanna watch the news, I don't wanna pick the phone up, don't wanna sit in traffic with an empty can alone. Could I been doing what I should be doing and I'm losing my Dodge Ram mind? Cause I just wanna do country ass shit with my country ass friends, with my country ass band. Having them make them dollar bills, y'all. Ask me how my country ass feels, y'all. Between working it all and getting it to be much country ass. Drink a beer, I just wanna get a line with Let the sun put some more red on my neck Wave at the girls on their rental pontoons While my bass boat speakers go boom, boom Cause I just wanna do country ass shit With my country ass friends, with my country ass band Having them make them dollar bills, y'all Ask me how my country ass feels, y'all Between working it all and getting it Country ass, left in these old blue jeans Oh, wait a minute, the whole world can kiss it Cause me and my country ass don't fish it Mama, if you're listening But I just want to do country ass shit With my country ass friends With my country ass man Having them make them dollar bills, y'all Ask me how my country ass feels, y'all Between working it all And getting it to the most country ass Well, you know what? I think that was a great song for the mood that I'm in because you know what? Some people can go ahead and from my heart. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Yeah. So, uh, and I love the line is like, off of working it off and getting it chewed. I ain't got much ass left in these old blue jeans, but wait a minute. Y'all you, can kiss, kiss whatever's left. I love that line. Um, this song was really country. No shit, Jet. No shit. Uh, I don't mind it. It sounded like uh, some 80s country um, because of the fact that it did have a little bit of humor to it, uh, but it had a lot of reality to it. And there were certain parts where the attitude to me felt like something that Travis Tritt would have done back in the late 80s, early 90s. I love me some Travis Tritt. You know, to me, Travis Tritt was somebody who tried to take country music and bring it into a new millennium or actually a new decade because it was you know 80s going into the 90s. And he almost did it in like a rock star kind of attitude. And I really, really dug it, you know? So, you know, something like this, it has that old, you know, country feel. Uh, I, I felt it and I like it. And that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.